Mommy? I'm Mommy. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Prince Alden Gaming, I'm your host Sam as always, and today we are continuing on with part two, our final part of Anthology of Fear. I am very much enjoying this game, I really hope you are as well. Left you last time on a little bit of a cliffhanger, didn't mean to do that to you. Sometimes we gotta do that, sometimes we don't know what's coming next. I'm ready to find out though, I'm ready to find out this time, and I hope you are as well. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Without further ado, let's jump back in to part two. Is that... it's all new to me. It's understandable. You're one of the first to participate. But please, try to relax. Any questions? Yeah, how do you relax? That's my main question. Managed to get away from this madness, this gun, these creatures, it all seems surreal. I must be disassociating. I'm safe for now. I hope. I also hope, buddy. I also hope you can get the hell out of here. ASAP! Plants are well groomed. Who's taking care of them? It's a real question. He's a real one. That was a weird noise. Okay, this doesn't open again. What do you have for me, Morpheus? I hope that person is still here. They're my last resort, my hope for an escape. Yeah, yeah. Okay, turn it on. We got a couple more questions, I'm sure. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I was hoping to see you again, Nathan. You were hoping to see me? Question mark. <laughs> of course I'd like to help you, Nathan. It's a pity we won't be able to meet again. What do you mean? Another user is waiting to connect with you. Okay. Connection established. Please continue to start the text messenger. Uh, yeah, I'm here. So happy you made it. I'm afraid I know why you're here. Anyway, I know how to get you out. Afraid? What do you mean? Yes, I'll explain everything, but first you must get out of here. Okay, what's next? Once outside, you must pick up the phone. No matter what happens, you have to pick it up. Only then I'll be able to help you. What's the other one say? I'll get you out of here very soon. It will all be just a vague memory. Okay. It's fine. The user has left the chat. Grand! Thank you. Thank you, computer. Eh? Good luck to you, Nathan. See you soon. The stranger helped me the elevator should take me outside now. I hope it's the end. Phone is a lie. Well, that's off-putting. Can I boot this back up? Shit ass. The phone is a lie, huh? Is the phone actually a lie? So I guess the question is, and I'll leave this up to you guys. Not the moment. In a minute. Very well. We can move forward. Okay. Yeah, and I'll leave this up to you guys. Do we listen to the phone? Do we pick up the phone like the computer said? Or do we listen to the door? Stranger wasn't lying, I'm actually outside. He said to pick up the phone, that he would be waiting for me. I hope he can explain it all. I don't think he gives a shit about you, pal. Not one. Why? 
What the shit is happening? I'm just running. Oh god, I missed. It does, doesn't it? Oh god. Oh shit! Can't see any more of those creatures. I should check out that phone while I still can. I don't know. Should I check out that phone? Here we go. Good. Whose phone is this? Turn it on, for fuck's sake. Right now! We're losing him! Oh, God. Alex, turn off that fucking phone. Nathan Soren, date of death, blank, date, time of death, 303, that's why the clock was stuck on that. Cause of death, auxiliary physician neglect, signal interference caused by incoming phone call. The tape, it seems surreal, it's impossible, and yet those doctors seem to be obsessed with it. I still have the documents to go through. The recording mentioned Alice Hill, the same person who signed these papers. 27-year-old man with difficulty staying asleep, sleep apnea ruled out. Normal results from polysomnogram. Further recommended examination, patient ready for net. Okay. Procedure overnight polysomnogram. Technique EEG, ECG, oximetry, EKG, jaw, and leg EMG. Results, seven awakenings, five REM phases recorded. Sleep talking, the patient mentioned what could have been a rabbit or a hare. EEG parameters, no abnormalities, normal sinus rhythm, mean rate 76, no ectopics noted. Respiratory, no abnormalities, impression, largely normal sleep pattern, no signs of sleep apnea, no decisive reason for troubles with staying asleep. The course of the recording written down step by step, but this tape couldn't have been real. Nathan's personal details, the signature looks like his too. What have you gotten yourself into now? State mentioned Alice Hill, the same person who signed Nathan's papers. I saw a door to the employee archives. Maybe I'll find something there. So Alice Hill. Okie dokie. The employee archives weren't here, were they? They were upstairs, right? Open this door, you! I don't think we had... Eh, shut up. We didn't have access to second floor. I think it was on third floor. Why? Shit what? Don't say shit like that. Need to find something? That would make sense. Not it, not it, not it. Ah! Another box of documents and another tape. This time it's Alice. I'm not sure how she fits in the picture. Wait, are we going to play through every person's memories? That was... Huh? I have to restart the power. Where the hell's the power? How the hell do I... It worked. Yeah! I would hope it worked.
Okay, it's back on. Power is on, the alarm is silent, I can keep looking. Good. Alright, tape number two. I'm mommy. Good to have a bathroom that close. Yeah, in case you got a puke. Well, I pooped. Not going to wake her up yet. I'll do it when breakfast is ready. Okay. So my job is actually to be mommy. I'm very motherly. You understand? Ooh. Emily loves it. If it weren't for her eagerness to draw, she'd be in front of the TV the whole day. Understand, kid. I understand that completely. So, yeah, okay. The child, the mom, dad. Is this Michael? Here's my little prankster. Is this gonna be the poem? Yeah, Jason left already for work. He didn't tell me he had to work early. Emily's up. I have to take care of the breakfast. Hi! You little prankster, you. You little kid old prankster child. Okay. Make us breakfast, little buddy? Are you talking to the toaster? Ma'am. Classic for today. Toast with a fried egg. I'm sure I have everything I need. Do you? Well, you got an egg right there. Close that shit. Won't work if the stove's off. Ooh. Better wait for the oil to heat up. You didn't put any oil in it. How about some toast? There you go. Yeah, this is heating up. Oh my god. A clean plate. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, put that in there. Let's find a clean plate. Where the hell are the damn plates? Eggs are still cooking. Oh my god, where are the plates? This is the worst set right there. Right there. How are these doing? They'll be ready in a moment. A toast on there. Swirl toast. Beautiful. There's a spatula here somewhere. Lady, you, you, you. Annoy the ever loving ass out of me. There's one. Breakfast is ready. I'll make us tea in a moment. Okay, let's bring it over to here. Here, kid, eat your shit. It looks delicious. Shut the hell up. Okay, let's turn this off. Screw it, tea can wait. Emily wants to paint? We'll paint. Well, alrighty, Roo. This is another pooper. You got a nice house. Is the paint upstairs? <laughs> ah! She's not there at all. I'm sorry, Alice. I was trying to change. To get help. I was trying to love both of you. I'm trying to find a meaning to all of this. But I can't. We noticed. Oh, dear, please. She's just a child. I don't want her to think that it was her fault. Tell her it's not. Tell her daddy will always be with her. I saw you suffering. Fading away as you were losing your husband. I don't want her growing up suffering too. I want a better future for you. I knew you would never let me go. I want you to remember it. It's not because of you. You did everything you could. <laughs> too tired to try. Mommy? What? What happened? Daddy! Daddy offed himself, kid. Here, make some oatmeal. What? Huh? He's doing more than crying. Jeez, oh man. Hi, there you are. Oh! Oh, God!
This house is expansive. It's got its own elevator system. Yeah. Hi, Grandma. We get it. You cry. Jeez, oh man. Where did you get a flashlight? I have to find her? Amongst the books? You think you're gonna beat out some books to find your child? You're right. That's a long hallway. This is a much smaller room. I like this place way better. Everything cool? A nice fresh soda! That's a brand. <laughs> Why are you like this? What? Uh... I'm just looking out the window, bruh. That's not where books go. Okay, shut the hell up. Hello? Thanks for turning the light on for me. It's very nice of you. Wallpaper's not doing too hot. I love you? You picked up toy block. Um, please close that. What is this stuff in here? Board games? A Z? I'm sorry? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, so we're gonna... Shut up, bunny. Where are you? Okay, we're gonna have to find all the blocks. Put them on that and then take a picture of it, I'm assuming. We found three. We need five total, it looks like. Selfies! Another one. Please close the damn door. Oh, mommy, look at that white bunny. It's... Did its face just change? I didn't like that. Toy block. You, 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 you stay there. Right, we have five blocks now. This should be enough. What was the child's name again? Emily, right? Is that not it? Oh, it needs to be the front, doesn't it? Oh, it's not straight up. There we go. Where are you? Is it this door? It is this door. What? What the hell was it? It's not time yet? Oh! Good! Boy, your feet are really thuddy. Oh! Why did you leave me? Why did you not love me? I love you. Do you not love me? I do not deserve you. You do not deserve me. Your life is pointless. My life does not make sense. Why the fuck did I... Why the fuck I... Leave us? I am leaving. You left Emily, you bastard. How am I supposed to explain this to her? You don't even explain yourself. Where are you? It was mean. Sorry. Nothing makes sense. You are pointless. You are a coward. Good. So Papa went and hung himself, right? That's the idea. Please turn my light back on. Please turn my light back on. I don't like when you take my light off. Please turn it on. Turn the light on. Fine. Ooh. You can't justify this? That's an eyeball. Is there anything in there I can have? <sighs> no. Go poke him eyeball. Uh, I don't like that. Do you remember? Do you remember Alice? What happened to Emily? 
No. Don't turn to look at me, you weirdo. Do you remember? Do you remember, Alice? What happened to Emily? No, you already asked me that exact thing. I really like this sponge. Where are you? Nothing there. Why don't you love me? Why don't you love me? Okay, this room? This room is dumb and I hate it. We can leave and go the other way now. Emily likes to play. I have to play with Emily. Good! Oh! I saw that. I seen that shit. <laughs> Grandma Mima! Can I go in here now? Piss! Probably. That's what I'm assuming as well. Did they splice a baby and a cow? Do you remember? No. No, I don't. If you're prone to seizures, don't look at the screen right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. Uh-huh. Emily was her name. With her brushes, she would swirl. Painting was her world. Art always in her mind. She loved animals, big and small, no matter of what kind. One day, a big storm came and a scary thunder roared. Gladly, her best friend was there so she could be her ward. And so our girl wouldn't be scared, the friend invited her to play. And with that little help, the fear of thunder went away. Then, a loud rumble was heard, everything went blank around. Screaming was loud in the house, and then a crying sound. But this time it wasn't her crying. Yes! We already solved it! You're pointless. Ha <laughs> ha, good. Do you remember? Oh, cool. You picked up drawing. Okay. Shut, shut the hell up. I picked up another drawing. I remember something, it said. Okay. Got a lot of pages. You're messing with me, huh? I don't appreciate it. Yes, I remember! Of course you don't. That's not nice. What kind of a mother are you? I'm a guy. Useless. Do this right. I don't like how you talk to me, giant eyeball in a bathroom. It's not very kind of you. K I d of you. Woody, 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 woody. Hello, woody. Huh? What? Of course you don't. What kind of a mother are you? You're useless. Do this right. I'm the kind of mother who's talking to a giant eyeball in the bathroom. That's who and why and what, maybe. Oh, the spots for the drawings. Oh, oh. Yep. Oh no. Great. You remember your child. Hey. We were supposed to congratulate you. Yes. Tell me, Alice. Do you remember me? 
your eyeball. Do you remember that day? When the eyeballs invaded? Confused. Because eyeballs were invading. I guess not then. The sun had just set. The storm got too quiet. Go on. Then you saw me. You saw me. It was your fault. And it was her fault too. You both made me do this. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. You don't make somebody do something. They have choices. They make their own choices. You shut your mouth. You don't have one. You're just an eyeball. Where are you? Okay, I'm going directly into hell. Is there a... Can I... We're going down. Mommy? Yes? What happened? There's an eyeball in the bathroom. Why are you crying? Because there was an eyeball in the bathroom. Oh, shit. This is my jam. Anybody else? Just me? Okay, it's fine. I like this. It's Bob Marley, I think. A real work of art, all this mess was worth it. I disagree. What the hell are we doing? Ah! Hey, you enjoy, kid. Go to the bathroom and don't peek. I don't like this game. Emily wants to play hide and seek, time to count. Right, go to the bathroom and hide. Yeah! Yeah, the bathroom. Oh, no eyeball in here. This is the darkest houseplant. What, what the hell? That's the worst houseplant I've ever seen. Oh. I'm time, uh, counting down. Time to seek. Pretty sure I know where she went, and I'm pretty sure this little trickster will find a way to surprise me anyway. I'm gonna kick her in the head as soon as I find her. Nope, not here. Not here. Oh, what a tricky! Beat your ass, kid. Where did you go? Why are the house plants black? <laughs> it's not funny. You know what? Wait until I find you this time, kiddo. It's gonna be the eyeball in here, isn't it? Blair! Nope. Is she in the toilet? No, I don't feel like using the toilet right now. Well, at least you can make your own mind up about these kind of things. That's good. Not here. Emily's almost growing out of it. At this rate, we'll be needing a new bed soon. What does that have to do? What does it have to do with finding her? Lady. <laughs> Something else kicked her in the head. Really, really hard. A lot. Open that door. Open that door. That's police lights. Ramp, 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 ramp. I, I was right. Wow. She got... Is not how it really was. Think again about me. What the shit? Are you fucking stupid, Alice? That is not how 
it really uh she got smashed oh my god well I mean obviously Alice is kind of stupid this game is very v ah Eh? Uh, well, I guess we're going back down to the elevator. Hi! I deserve hell. Here we go. Back to shithole. Mommy? Yes? What happened? You got exploded. Because you got exploded. I answered all your questions, kid. Where is she? I was watching her all the time. She has to be here somewhere. You saw her on the top of the stairs. Her head was exploded. She didn't have a leg. You're a bad, bad mom. Oh, where are you? This isn't good. Oh. You still want to see. He lost his eyes. Can you look for her? I wish to show him the joy. Yep. Eh, it's not in there. Not in there either. Or eyes there, I should say. <laughs> Honey, you left your rabbit here. Who are you talking to? A puddle of goop on the ground? That's... That's not good. That's not good. Can you shut the hell up? Yes. Picked up a spoon! No, no, no. Ah. He lost his eye eyes. Okay, shut, shut the hell up. We got a spoon. The spoon opens the door. Uh, hi. Looks like someone already got his eyes. Don't worry, we'll find some. What? Is that Vladimir Putin? What the hell? NATO must already got to him. We're gonna spoon your eyes out, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You picked up human eyes. Oh! Good. Mr. Rabbit will surely like some new eyes. So, so. Old mommy. Ain't what she seems. Mr. Rabbit will surely like some new eyes. Here, I found a. Uh, you're just gonna follow me around, are you? Okay. Let's find him some teeth, why don't we? How about you, Putin? You got some teeth left? Can't do it with my bare hands. Uh, maybe this other drawer opened up. It sure did. Got some pincers. I think they mean pliers. We're taking him's teeth out. This is good. Ah! This is the original forest now. Please, please shut the hell up. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. Thank you, too. He doesn't need to do that. You can come in. He's gone. He's gonna bite my butthole. What the shit is that? Hey, that's my daughter, lady. Oh, Granny? 
You stop moving. Can I just go by, please? <laughs> Honey, you left your rabbit here. Can I go down this hallway that's completely dark instead of wherever the hell that's going? Nope. This goes to nothing. Okay, I'm gonna assume the bunny just saved my life. Picked up half of Bunny statue. So the dreams are all related to each other so far, it seems. Where are you? I can't see you. You're a coward. That's not nice. Half of the Bunny statue. I got two halves of a Bunny statue. That's good. Uh. Oh. E. Odysseus? C-I-U-S. Okay, Odysseus. Gun! I, 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 I see that. What happened to me? Uh, a gun and drugs, uh... And senility. Wait, 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 wait. You are my senility. What? Do you remember stool? <laughs> yeah. That would be fast. Oh. It's not in my style. So these are all options. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, 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 uh stool and, uh, uh, noose. This is piss. Open the door. Before I go that way, can I just leave the house? No, of course you can't just leave the house. Why the hell would they ever allow that? What's going on? Power at the end of the hall? Okay. Sorry, did Emily off herself too? Wake up, Bunny. What the hell are you talking about, lady? Not time yet? Good. I'm turning my light on. Oh, this door's open. Oh, you're back, sir. My old friend. Hi. So tell me, Alice. Okay. Did Mr. Rabbit like your gift? He did. Why do you keep pretending you don't care for me anymore? What are you talking about? You're lying to yourself. Still having problems of memory. Oh, Alice. Why would you think I'd want something that already belonged to me? Prove you still care. Give me something real. Eh? Dog, what are you talking about? Uh, what, what, what do you want, eyeball? Oh, oh, oh. Show me... You want me to pull out my own teeth for you, don't you? Oh, I have to wiggle them out. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
This is how I smile. Here, eyeball. Here's all my teeth. No mommy questions this time? Zero, zero mommy questions this time. Mommy, where's all your teeth? Emily's afraid of the storm. I have to distract her. Well, guess what? She shot herself in the eyes. I don't think there's anything you have to worry about anymore. Come on, okay. Now I can. Ha <laughs> ha! You'll never beat me. Stupid child. Beating your ass, kid. Ha! More mana quinks? Get him! No! Score of negative 350! No! Don't do it! That's not fair. You're cheating. Okay. Alright. Alright. This is some ho-ass shit-ass. Are we still just playing the game? We're losing bad. It's the fuses, they're in the basement. Jason would usually take care of them, but he's still not home. All right, that's the most annoying sound I've ever heard. Too dark, I have to get the flashlight from the drawer first. Lady, lady, you've had the flashlight 43 times now. Back into the basement, eh? Oh, cool. This one has been working on this a long time, not supposed to be a games room, but the renovation, blah, 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 blah. I didn't get to read that. Automatic washer. All right. Danger! Really, really good. Oh! I saw that. Ta-da! Oh, is he playing four square on the ground, too? He must have tripped right into that noose. Poor guy. Poor guy. Absolutely crazy. How do we get back here? Do I remember? Yeah, I remember. Mom? Huh. What is Dad doing? He's just hanging around. You gonna show me this? This is Layers of Fear now? That's, I would say, what this game reminds me of the most, is probably Layers of Fear. I'm really sorry about Jason. I know it must be hard for you, but... But you have to get back to work. We can't afford you to do this. Dr. Hypnos is asking about you. Can I bring Emily? Good to see you back, Alex. We you. have the next patient at 3 p.m. He's here for NEP. Jane will fill you in. Who will? Jane? With no S? I didn't hear it. Was, oh, Jane. We're almost ready. Or? No. Don't say chap chap to me. Now, let's begin. Bring Emily with you. She shouldn't stay alone. I'm very. We start confused. Take Emily to Sylvia's office. She can look after her. But will she? Doctor? I don't trust you. Mom, can we go to the bathroom? I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh, good. Funny. 
You made it! Where's your human eyes? I don't know who built this room, but... Mushy mushy. Funny, you're here again. Okay, fine, I'll just leave. I guess I won't. Okay, we're Emily now. Someone downstairs making a lot of noise. Is that mom? She told me she'd be later tonight, so if it's not mom, then who? Well, that's the wind. All right, I thought it was a ghost banshee. Wait, did you? Your kid is just by herself at home? Is that you, Mima? <laughs> no. Oh, you fucked up, kid. Someone is here, I don't know these men, I don't know them. Mom, come back, I'm scared. You sure you saw someone? Yeah, come on. You think they saw our faces? It's dark, no chance. So that's what the mom kept seeing. Haha. <laughs> she ain't got no head no mo. Uh, heel, 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 heel. It's not funny. Hi. You're here, you made it. So happy you made it. Can't wait to see your next masterpiece. She doesn't have any more. Hi, Mr. Abow. Hi. I can't expect you to even begin to understand. You're as clueless as our child. She nearly got caught in a crossfire. Shame for you, too. I see you've decided. So, see you soon. So, hi, Bunny. Here's the question Wow. Mom's gonna jump out the four-story building. Is what the poem said. Bye, Mama. And... Whoosh. Yep. Huh. 
Time of death 11.57 a.m. Cause of death, spinal cord injury and brain hypoxia. History of illness, the body of A.H. has undergone NAT. The patient was unresponsive, had several bro broken bones and severe internal bleeding. The body was transported quickly enough to successfully perform transfer. Further recommended examination, further tests on A.H.'s copy. So Alice's... brain... was brought out of her body? This woman was a nurse here. She was there during the procedure. I see some references to some research, but the documents were incomplete. There's a note that the rest of the papers had been moved to the head nurse's room. So are we all on the same page there? That that net thing is moving their brain reality or something like that. Aha! a golden key to a golden room. Don't do what you're gonna do. I know what you're gonna do. Somebody's gonna walk by the door. Or not. We'll just do weird shit. Nathan Andrew Soren. Procedure net technique redact. A medically unexpected death. Auxiliary f auxiliary physician neglect signal interference caused by incoming phone call The incoming phone call Was the call about her daughter being shot What the hell do you mean? What? Good job! Way to go, jack shit! Oh, fuck a peepee! -pee. Oh, yes, 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 yes! Close the door, jack dick! Oh my god! Ha ha ha, idiot! You should hurry faster! You shot me? You shot me in the back? All that work, huh? So at the end, okay, that was your dream. Okay, that's weird. It's a mind fuck. You guys get it. Y'all understand. We're not any dummies here. Okay, my community is a bunch of smarties, a bunch of brilliant people. That was actually pretty damn good. I don't know what you guys thought about that, 
But I thought that was a pretty damn good game. Um, had an absolute blast with it, actually. More fun than I thought it was going to be. I was reading some of the reviews uh, on Steam before I played it, and a lot of them were not too kind specifically to the ending. I didn't read anything about what it was, uh, but they said it was abrupt. It didn't make a lot of sense. I thought it made a lot of sense, and I think it's a pretty good... Yeah, Twilight Zone, exactly. I think it was a really good uh, play on, on what they were trying to do. So... I had a really good time with this. I hope you guys had fun with it as well. If you are new to the channel, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I thank you guys very much for coming. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next stream. Peace!